Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick one. Um, a lot of people are asking me, well not a lot of people, but mainly the people who are new to Bitcoin. Uh, they keep asking the same question, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a video about this. But, why in the world aren't more people buying Bitcoin? Hey, it's a big question, but let's get into it in this video. First off, let's start with the verse of the day. Got to get that spiritual food. So let's start in Matthew 25, 40. The king will reply, truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. So basically what that means is, guys, treat others as you treat yourself. Be nice to them. Help them out. Give. If you see a brother or a sister hungry, go buy him a meal. In fact, I, I challenge you guys this week to go do this. If you guys are going to a restaurant, when you order your food, that person behind you, let them order, step in front, buy it, and then say, if th they're going to thank you. They're going to say, why'd you do that? Just say, you're welcome. Go ahead and um, return the favor to someone else. Try it, guys. That's my challenge for you guys this week. All right, so let's get into the video. Um, I'm going to give you guys five reasons why more people aren't buying Bitcoin. More people aren't buying Bitcoin for a few simple and, and dumb reasons, in my opinion. But first, not understanding what it is. Guys, Bitcoin is basically dollars or being able to transact with money on roids. So first you had sheeps for goats or chickens for eggs or um, a cow for a wheelbarrow. We traded back then. Then came gold. So now everything was like, oh yeah, I'll trade you this thing for this piece of gold or this cow for half a piece of gold. But then you had that factor of, well, how much can you divide a piece of gold for a ounce of flour? Yeah, really hard to do that. So then came fiat. So fiat's like, oh yeah, an ounce of flour is going to cost you a couple cents. So now there's Bitcoin. Now instead of just being able to transact with a dollar, you can instantly send someone some money like that. Instead of going through the fiat, transferring money, now this is digital. You can send something, buy something online and get it sent to you. You can't buy anything online with dollars. Sure, you can use a credit card, but what if that credit card's like, nah, bro, you can't buy this item because we say you can't. There you guys go. So that's the use case for Bitcoin and what it is. So the second thing is fear. A lot of people fear, oh, it's going to go up and oh, it's going to go down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a new technology, guys. That's what's going to happen. What do you think What do you think happens with new IPOs and new stocks? They have stable coins, so you, you can look at those as well. Um, a good one is MakerDAO. I'll do a video on that. Um, another thing is people think they're too late. They're not. You're not. Come on, guys. It's not too late to get into Bitcoin. I mean, the stinking market cap's only about $400 billion. You know what gold's market cap is? It's over $9 trillion as of this video. Okay, $400 billion, $9 trillion, gold, Bitcoin. Gold's use cases are store of wealth. Bitcoin is store of wealth, payment transfer, disruptive technology. Oh, okay, okay. I think there's plenty of room to grow. All right, and the fourth thing is believing everything they re read in mainstream media. Guys, everyone knows the media is not true. Okay, well, if I was, if that was true, then everyone would figure that out by now. But media is so sided. I mean, you go on CNN and it's all um, sided to Democrats. I, I mean, on Facebook, they can... Uh, show which ads you can see or um, discriminate against ads they don't want you to see. I mean, it, just the two past elections we had with 2016 and 2020. I mean, guys, it's it, it's it, if it's on the news, don't always trust it. You need to verify it. I mean, always think about it like this. What's in it for them? Why are they doing it? And usually if you phrase it like it's in it for the money, if the if the Democrats or a restaurant or uh, a company sponsored them, I think they're going to side towards the company in, in the news. And then the fifth thing is thinking it's a bubble. 
guys, we've been sitting at almost 20 grand on Bitcoin for the past two or three weeks. I don't think it's a bubble. It's not financial advice, but the people are talking when you got the bears and the uh, bulls fighting, fighting each other. If it was a bubble, it would have never hit 20K or almost 20K for a second time. So this one really kind of gets to me about that everything that's a bubble or it's just cyclical, cyclical, I'm sorry. Um, what happens when the housing market crashes? Well, it creeps back up and then crashes again. Well, it's going to creep back up. So the same thing with Bitcoin or the dot-com bubble. Uh, I mean, there are some good things things that came out of the dot-com bubble that are still here. Okay, so here's the concept of this. So you guys know the company Airbnb, right? Okay, um, maybe eight years, five years ago, people were like, I ain't renting my house to no, or renting a room out to no one. Are you kidding me? I don't trust those people. Now, nah, dude, everyone's like, Airbnb, I'll go there. Hey, do you have Airbnb? Hey, dude, it, it's not, hey, is there a hotel up there? It's like, hey, go check Airbnb. See if they got spaces up there. I mean, guys, Airbnb wasn't here five years ago. What did you do? <laughs> you ask someone what they do before that, and they're like, I don't know. Five years ago, everyone was like, oh, you rent a hotel, you dipwad. I mean, now it's like, oh, geez, Airbnb, everyone knows about it. So it's like, oh, yeah, just get an Airbnb. That's what you do. I mean, five years ago, it was like, I don't trust that person. They ain't getting in my house. Anyone who walks on five, or five feet within my property, I got guns on campus. Watch out. I mean, that, that's how it was. Uh, another thing is Uber. Come on, guys. Everyone's like, oh, taxi, taxi. Where are you at, taxi? No, now Uber takes that out. Now it's like, they even de deliver your food. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean... How do you know that? Well, actually, they have stories of people just eating your food, but we, we still buy it. We still do the Uber Eats thing. I mean, it's like, dude, they, they do Uber Eats. They do groceries. Uh, they, they drive you in a car. I mean, I mean, come on. Three, four years ago, it was like, mm, nah, I ain't getting a car with you. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you are. And I ain't getting in that car and get away. <laughs> I mean, now it's like, oh, you just jump in the car and take an Uber. Or if someone's like, hey, can you get here? Nah, I can't make it on it. Take an Uber, dude. It's like, oh, okay. Well, you guys get the point. Okay, now this is really going to, well, okay, we'll, we'll go with this one first. We'll save the best one for last. Amazon. Come on, guys. Yeah, everyone knew this was coming. Come on. So everyone was like, I ain't sending my money to that guy. I don't even know who he is. If I can't see him in person, feel it, touch it, hold it, I ain't buying it. Now everyone's like, if it ain't on Amazon, if they can't ship it to me, one day delivery, I ain't buying it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, that's the complete opposite of what we were seven years ago. Guys, same thing with Bitcoin. Think about it. Carvana. Okay, guys, this one's pretty huge. It's pushing it to the limit, but people are buying cars without even driving it. Are you kidding me? Same thing with clothes. People wear or buy them without even wearing them. A car, <laughs> a huge investment. And they're buying cars without even driving them, without even sitting in them, without even touching them. All right, guys, I think you get the point. Those are my five things on Bitcoin. This is, th these are my beliefs, but come on. Guys, the technology is huge. Do your own research. This isn't financial advice. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys didn't like this video, smash that dislike button. If you guys like that video, smash that like button. If you guys haven't subscribed and you already hit that dislike button or that like button, subscribe anyways. Who cares? But it's free, right? Thanks for watching, guys.